the carbon monoxide insertion to rhodium acid bond. The rhodium metal assisted hydrofumulation reaction occurs with rhodium dimer catalyst. So the hydrofumulation reaction on the supported rhodium catalyst proceeds in conjunction with the rhodium rhodium bond formation and breaking and formed, broke, formed, breaking. So this dynamic change occurs during the catalysis of ethylene hydrofumulation reaction on the surface. So uh, rhodium dimer is not merely the double of the single of rhodium dimer, rhodium monomer, because Another interesting feature observed with this rhodium dimer catalyst is insertion step of this step. We can see the direction of carbon monoxide insertion. This insertion step is possible under small amount or small pressure of carbon monoxide and then reverse step of uh, the decarbonization, decomposition of this acid to back to the Three carbonyl and acid bond proceed under carbon monoxide even at room temperature. This direction of chemistry is converse to the usual homogeneous catalysis on one rhodium metal side. So the direction of carbon monoxide insertion is reversed. So that carbon monoxide insertion chemistry is different from the carbon monoxide insertion on rhodium one metal side. Next slide, please. So we change the rhodium active metal side from one metal side to dimer side to metal side. The chemistry is discontinuous, so the non-linear chemistry. And this is the catalytic performance for ethylene hydrofumulation in catalytic reaction conditions at the reaction rate here total reaction rate assaying byproduct formation here and the product of ethylene hydroformulation propanol here and selectivity listed here. The inclination, usual inclination rhodium silica catalyst show the propanol formation to this in this unit 1.3 and selectivity is only 5.6%. However, the present rhodium dimer catalyst uh, total reaction rate a little higher than the usual inclination rhodium catalyst, but propanol formation rate about uh, 30 times than usual rhodium catalyst, and selectivity is very high, 88.9% 80, 80, as compared to the 5.6% only for this uh, usual catalyst. And if we increase the rate, from 22.8 to 268, about 10 times higher than this for the total turnover frequency of ethylene hydrofluorination reaction. Still, we keep the good selectivity, 50%, at much higher than usual 5.6%. Next slide, please. So, the chemistry of dimers, sometimes very good. So the, the insertion step is a key step for hydroformulation reaction. So that key step chemistry is different from the chemistry observed in monomer side. I move to the next topic, ammonia decomposition on ruthenium-001 single crystal surface. We measure co-adsorption system of ammonia molecule and carbon monoxide usually poisoning molecules. We plotted ammonia decomposition rate here against the carbon monoxide pre-coverage here. The usual rate of ammonia decomposition decreased with the increase of pre-coverage of carbon monoxide as usual because the carbon monoxide is a poisoning molecule for usual metal catalysis. However, about this critical value of carbon monoxide recovery, decomposition rate increased sharply to much higher level than on the clean ruthenium surface. So in order to examine 
what happened on the ruthenium thin crystal surface during this ammonia decomposition in the presence of co-adsorbed carbon monoxide, we measured the follows the lead pattern and then high resolution electron energy loss spectra. Spectra. Next slide. A little pattern shows the uh, carbon monoxide induced root three structure observed here of besides these substrate spots of hexagonal ruthenium 001 plane, this surface is exposed to ammo ammonia. Ammonia is the reactor. Ammonia, this surface changed to two by two lead pattern structure. When carbon monoxide recovery increased the double than this amount of carbon monoxide coverage. We observed double spot here to root three structure for carbon monoxide absorption. Then this surface is exposed to ammonia. The surface is changed to two by two structure. Next slide, please. This is a, these are the real space model for the arrangement of co-adsorbed carbon monoxide and ammonia molecules on the same 001 plane. Large circle, large circle is ruthenium, showing hexagonal fracture. And these are carbon monoxide, eight oxide, and three-fourth holocyte. And these are ammonia molecules, three-fourth holocyte, and eight oxide. We see, if we see the three-fold holocyte ammonia molecule, this molecule is surrounded by three carbon monoxide and three atop ammonia molecule. If we replace these three atop ammonia molecule by carbon monoxide molecule, then we obtain this structure, this is the same three-fold holocyte ammonia. This molecule is surrounded by six carbon monoxide molecules. This surface shows the minimum activity for ammonia decomposition and the uh, right-hand side uh, arrangement for mixed hadrian species show the maximum activity for ammonia decomposition. Next slide. So these are three different electron energy loss spectra on clean ruthenium surface and minimum point and at the maximum activity level. We see particularly this uh, the ratio of the intensity of symmetric deformation mode of nitrogen-hydrogen bond in ammonia molecule and intensity of asymmetric deformation mode. The ratio of the intensity of these two bonds are different each other. On clean surface, the intensity of this symmetric deformation mode is much larger than the intensity of asymmetric deformation mode, which means the molecular axis of ammonia molecule is normal to the surface. On the minimum point here, the intensity both deformation mode uh, nearly equal, which means the uh, ammonia molecule tilted a little. At the maximum activity level, the intensity ratio completely reversed. Asymmetric deformation mode much larger intensity that, than that intensity. So this and uh, this uh, completely reversed. So this is uh, normal to the surface for the ammonia molecule axis. But on the maximum activity level, the ammonia molecule largely tilted down to close to the surface. So the nonlinear phenomenon on the same 001 single crystal surface is observed as a function of pre-coverage of <coughs> carbon monoxide, monoxide. 
So uh, on the surface of ruthenium single crystal 0 day one plane, the ammonia molecule reactant orientation drastically changed as a function of uh, carbon monoxide coverage. <coughs> non linear phenomenon. Next slide, please. If we replace the one hydrogen of three hydrogen atoms of ammonia molecule by methyl group, that molecule is methyl amine. The carbon monoxide full coverage produces uh, this external cross packing two dimensional layer forming the two dimensional cavity. Okay, please. This methyl amine molecule absorbs on this two dimensional pocket on ruthenium single crystal surface, a methyl ligand must be laced up far from the surface. Next slide, please. So the methyl amine <coughs> molecule absorbed on surface largely tilted, similar to the previous ammonia story. On clean surface, methyl amine molecule absorbed without any static restriction. Eventually, this molecule decomposed to nitro nitride and carbide. On root 3, carbon monoxide recovery structure on the same in 001 surface, CH activation is not poisoned by the co-absorption of carbon monoxide. However, amide is stabilized up to 350 Kelvin and eventually at 400 Kelvin. Amide is also decomposed to nitride. The more crowded surface, 2 root 3 carbon monoxide covered the same 001 plane, the molecule tilted. Then NH bond very close to the surface, interacted with a deeper D orbital of the same. Then easily dissociated to this NH bond to cause the 1 2 hydrogen shift from here to here to form the CN double bond species. So the changing the coverage of carbon monoxide, the reaction path is different. So the nonlinear behavior also observed with the major amine chemistry on sending 001 single crystal surface. Next slide, please. I move to the final topic of uh, uh, the water gas shift reaction on magnesium first. There are six different OH groups on magnesium surface, three terminal OH groups, and three holocyte OH groups. Next slide. Only terminal OH groups of magnesium react with carbon monoxide to form bidentate formate, uh, bridge, bridge type formates on magnesium, magnesium atom, and holocyte uh, OH groups form. Uh, by the absorption of water. But the decomposition rate of this by bridge type forming is 0 to 4 or 3. About 100% uh, of uh, the bridge type forming back to the original OH and carbon monoxide. So no forward decomposition proceeds from the surface formate of magnesium. However, in catalytic reaction condition, the second water molecule here, then CH and OCO symmetric asymmetric stretching peaks shifted to higher or lower this broker's centimeter side, showing the electronic interaction between the second water molecule and the previously formed formate intermediate. In the presence of co-adsorbed water molecule adjacent side to the formate uh, side, the forward decomposition becomes possible. Then the backward decomposition suppressed to about 130 from 30 to 1.9. Next slide, please. 
The first water molecule, this was eight degree assault on magnesium surface to form terminal OH group and holocyte OH. And the terminal OH group to react with carbon monoxide to form crystal formate on magnesium magnesium atom. And then the second water molecule can absorb the adjacent site of this bridge type formate. Then the interaction between here, electron donor or accepting interaction type here occurs here. Then activate, so the second water molecule activates the previous before we produce the formate intermediate. Then hydrogen, hydrogen recombine uh, to the transition state uh, to form hydrogen and carbon dioxide. In the absence of carbon, in the absence of water molecules, this formate intermediate decomposed to backwardly. 100% of uh, uh, the surface formate decomposed backwardly. Water and carbon monoxide recovered, no proceed forward. However, in the presence of the second water molecule, that is, means the real catalytic reaction condition, in the presence of the second water molecule, the uh, the surface formate is activated to decompose the forwardly. Then, water gas system reaction products, hydrogen and carbon dioxide, possible to be produced. Next slide, please. So the first water molecule and the second water molecule show the different discontinuous chemical law. The next is zinc oxide. The total decomposition rate on magnesium surface is suppressed by the coexistence tense of water molecule. However, on thin oxide surface, the second water molecule accelerated the decomposition of the surface formate more than 10 times. There are three types of OH groups, terminal and bridge and polocyte OH groups, then heated this surface and uh, uh, exposed to carbon monoxide, the only terminal OH groups this decrease. These are the different spectra. So the appearance shows that the terminal OH group reacts with carbon monoxide. At the same time, by dentate form it appears. Therefore, the terminal OH group reacts with carbon monoxide to form by dentate form it on the surface. Then it is to higher temperature, about 300 degrees centigrade. The hydrogen evolves, and the holocyte OH group decrease the, the different spectra here. Here, so therefore we suggest the bidentate form is react with the holocyte OH group to form hydrogen. Next slide. Mm -hmm. uh, These are the rate constant for the forward decomposition rate constant of the surface bidentate format on zinc oxide in various combinations of deuterium laser format, deuterium, and uh, water substituted with deuterium. But only the substitution of deuterium atom or format showed the isotope effect, but uh, no isotope effect is observed with the uh, water hydrogen. And the reaction rate constant of uh, the forward decomposition of the sur surface by dentate forming increased from uh, 0.34 to 5.3. So the more than 10 times increase observed in rate constant of the decomposition of surface forming to four. Next slide. Uh, this is the uh, comparison between the reaction elementary step and the catalytic reaction steady state rate. We can measure the individual amounts of uh, surface formates or other species, for example, surface carbonates, and we can determine the rate constant for each surface species. Then we can compare the rate constant at the steady state for catalytic water gas used reaction. Next slide, please. Those are the uh, good relations between them. So the water water molecule this 
search natively and search on coordinatively and saturated think, think and oxygen here to form OH terminal and holotype OH and then carbon monoxide air to with the terminal OH groups to form bidentate formate on think and oxide through unidentate formate. Then the second water molecule activated the bidentate formate to form hydrogen and unidentate carbonate. And unidentate carbonate decomposition is also promoted by the presence of water to form carbon dioxide. So the reactant promoted mechanism makes the water gas shift reaction to proceed catalytically. Next slide, please. On thin oxide surface, the bidentate forming is a reaction intermediate. However, in the absence of water molecule that reactant, 30% of formate decomposed to forward to form hydrogen and uh, carbon dioxide. Only, no, only 30% Form. However, the 70% of surface formate decomposed backwards. However, in the coexistence of absorbed water molecule, 100% of surface formate decomposed forward. So the catalytic cycle easily occurs in the presence of co-absorbed molecule under the steady state condition. So the failure of on failure, the reaction rate decreased in the coexistence of absorbed water molecules. However, the suppression is uh, more or backward than the selectivity for forward decomposition to produce hydrogen and carbon dioxide increase. However, the total reaction rate suppressed by the coexistence of absorbed water. However, rhodium changed this situation. Rhodium of failure catalyst. Uh, this is uh, in, the, in the absence of water. The surface forming decomposed to uh, backward and forward. 35% forward and mainly 65% backward. However, the presence of the second water molecule can absorb the activated surface formate. 100% of surface by dentate formate decomposed to poor, poor product hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Besides the selectivity rate change, the reaction rate, rate constant, increased by a factor of two orders of magnitude from 1.5. 10 to the minus 5 to 10 to the minus 3. We presented four different types of metal oxide catalysts for water gas shift reactions. So the different phenomena observed. However, the common feature is reactant promoted mechanism. The second water molecule is different chemistry that from the, the first molecule, water molecule showed. So, next slide, please. So in conclusion, the catalysis of the double is entirely different from that of the things. The behavior of the first and second reactant in water gas reaction is chemically discontinuous. The dis dissociation reaction of ammonia is poisoned and promoted as a function of carbon monoxide coverage. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for, for your talk. Um, some questions. The question is how CO adopts the dimers during the hydro formulation. What is the frequency of the breaking and the dimer and formation of the bucket in the dimer? Uh, if we see that the dimer structure, the 
one large beacon of pentamethyl cyclopentadiene blocked the one rhodium site. Then the adjacent rhodium site is open because original dinuclear rhodium complex site are two pentamethyl cyclopentadiene. So that is completely inert for catalytic reaction. After the attachment to the silica surface, the one pentamethyl cyclopentadiene large ligand removed. So this is the reaction site is created on one rhodium metal. This is the blocking by with the, the large ligand. So that is the purpose. We designed the site to examine the metal-metal bond role role in catalysis. So we, if we see that uh, uh, asymmetric structure of rhodium diamond, uh, carbon monoxide cannot access to this rhodium, only this side. So the, the carbon monoxide can absorb on this rhodium side, not this. So the, and also the one large pentacyclopenta diamond removed on this coordinate field, so the carbon monoxide is possible, two carbon monoxide is possible to access to this coordinate site. However, yes, only. Well, then, uh, two carbon monoxide is also loading plus or loading zero. Okay. So you have two carbon is monoxide on the top of loading, right? And uh, did they form a loading plus or still a loading zero state? Oh, yes. We uh, count uh, the electron number number of electron on each uh, uh, rhodium is uh, 15. So that coordinatively unsaturated, uh, the, the degree of coordination saturation very high. And the formal oxidation state of rhodium, two plus. But the net charge is more close to metallic state, judging from the wave number of carbon monoxide P in IR. Mm -hmm. Any questions? <coughs> to the single crystal data, another example of non-linear chemistry is, is the formation of benzene from acetylene, where if you add CO, you get a compression of uh, acetylene together to form benzene. Now, in your case, um, do you think the non-linearity could be caused um, by a similar compression, that is to say, when you get to a specific coverage of the CO, then uh, actually there's a compression of the ammonia uh, molecules rather than the rather isolated case that you have. No, uh, I think uh, that the different. Uh, probably on palladium, palladium surface, acetylene converted to benzene by compression by the coexistence of carbon monoxide. However, in this case, completion damage the ammonia tilting or an NH dissociation. That's a usual poisoning effect by carbon monoxide. However, one ammonia molecule surrounded by six carbon monoxide, the carbon monoxide standing here, and the ammonia molecule here, the one pi orbital here, and NH lumo orbital here, so the electron donor accepting interaction there. Uh, the, so the tilted molecule, <coughs> however, the, this amo carbon monoxide molecule blocks the site. So the no dissociation. That's a usual poison. However, the more crowded um, carbon monoxide, the opposite side, carbon monoxide here, NH bond put, uh, pushing us. So the NH occupied level interacted with carbon monoxide one pi occupied level, that's a retardium. So the tilted down suddenly occurs by pushing the retardium interaction. Do you, do you think the CO molecules also associated? No, we don't uh, have uh, any result for the carbon monoxide tilting. I have only one question because we are very late. Good discussion on the last case when you have the, uh, the second effect of water on the, the other gas shift. Would it be fair to say that the second water works because you want to favor a transition state that's polar? Would that be the situation? Or you want to go forward here because you want to stabilize a polar transition state? Yes. And uh, on Celia 
surface, the stabilization occurs. The, for the former intermediate. However, the other cases, they enhanced the decomposition by electrons do not accept it. Yes. So that uh, uh, metal oxygen bonding level raises up by pushing the electron to uh, more charged metal, <coughs> then push it down up. But otherwise, the uh, metal surface, metal oxide surface, and uh, the forming like that, the uh, holocyte waves, the separation between two hydrogen atoms far, too far. Oh, still? Still. Still, you push the proton, the two proton together? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. 